in the back. Huh? In the back. Hey, take some head, take the shirt off. Okay, so I've been in Japan for about two weeks now. It's uh, almost the end of summer, but it's still very humid and hot here. And I haven't done much filming while I'm in Japan because I mostly came here for business. Like I was supposed to go to Indonesia for some business stuff. Just helping some friends out, establishing some things over there. I'm sure you guys will hear the announcement soon for, for all the stuff that we've been doing over there. But I came to Japan afterwards because I needed to kind of help oversee the, the final product for the new FL5 Exceed front lip and side skirts. So we're finalizing that, we're putting it all together. The first set's almost done. And me and Yasu are flying back to LA tomorrow so that we can get ready for Weekfest LA where we're gonna debut the new FL5 kit. And then there's also a brand new EG, EG6 Exceed front lip, which looks very similar to the EK one. That's just the styling moving forward. So that's coming, and then we should have that lip on display at Weekfest. We're not gonna bring that back with us because it's not quite done yet, so we're gonna have to overnight ship it when it is finished. And they'll have it shipped to the shop, and then we'll get it put on a, uh, one of our friend's cars, and then have a big booth set up for Weekfest LA. I think we have like four cars. Plus, the biggest thing that we're debuting is the Voltex GR86 kit. It's the first uh, wide body street version two kit in America. There's one in Canada on a yellow GR86. That car got finished a couple months ago, but we had we had the first kit in North America since last year, but me and Christian, we just haven't had time to tackle it yet. So Christian has been working hard on the car, working very hard on the car for the last few weeks. It's all coming together. The car's been completely repainted. Uh, him and Jay are putting the car together while I'm over here in Japan. Christian is the one that does all the all the intensive labor stuff. So I'm more of like the the designer and facilitator of things. So me, I'm getting parts and stuff and making sure I tie up all the loose ends and getting everything that we need for the car. So I've been over here just like making sure that logistically everything works. Overnight parts from Japan. <laughs> 14 hour uh, Japan. Yeah. And Japan Airlines was not happy about it. <laughs> oh shit. First time Christian can see the. Actually, we're all seeing it for the first time because I only yeah, looked at it through the plastic. No, the plastic. <laughs> no, we wanted you to see it first. Then it would get dirty. So. Oh, shit. These are the first ever uh, Battlecraft Red Zeta Classic seats. Literally just got done in time for us to bring them back so we can put it on the GR. Waited like four months for these. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. What this one? Uh, seat LED? sensor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they light up. Yeah. Oh, it comes with a seat sensor? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of nice. Look at that. Yeah. That's cool. Damn. Crafty on the back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it's looking out good. Yeah, it's looking out good. Clean. It's clean, simple, all black, all black stitch. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there's small holes. And tiny harness holes, yeah. Tiny harness holes. <laughs> Try to bring the look back a little bit. Although when you put this next to the Zeta 3, it's still very different. Yeah. But the Zeta 4 actually, like, I feel like it sits better where the hips and your spine kind of goes. Mm, the Overall, hips. it's like a more refined shape. Yeah. And it's a lot stiffer. And they came out just in time for us because yeah. we were going to do a different seat before. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> It's perfect. Yeah. Hi, 
Yeah. Damn, that's good, right? Height. Did you already set it? No, right? We all just kind of saved our own little bit the other day. But... Mm, damn, that camera bolt made a yeah, world of difference. Yeah, that was very close to far. Dude. That's straight from the front. This is one of those things where we should have disconnected the battery first. No. <laughs> Too much <to> It's <laughs> fine. That's perfect. No? It's fine. That's fine. George and his head. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I hit my head on the roll bar. Yeah, I can move it later. No, you're probably going to push forward. Yeah, Yas is like, oh yeah, I like this. Yeah, this your position is <laughs> your position is different from my position. All the pictures of my car at the track, when like, me and Amir, Christian, they are driving That's good, right? Mm -hmm. Looks good, too. Because <laughs> if too much like this, it looks mm -hmm. ugly. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's so light. Some documentation. The pole cameras. Stickers? <laughs> Damn, those stickers? What the f? Damn. What's in those Tough boxes? Tough times. Oh, stickers. Guskets, maybe. Oh, another box. Stickers. Yeah! Empty box. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, nothing is really light. Oh shit! Stickers. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Oh, what the hell? Oh, stickers? No, no stickers. Damn. Yeah. Tough times, man. Tough times, no stickers. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's new. Can we burn it with the torch? My oh. favorite part is how chody this exhaust is. Mm hmm Like... Very chody, yes. My I favorite thing... I that word in a while. I use that word all the time. Oh, it's just like love when like... The tip is longer than the base. Yeah, the tip is longer than the base. You know what I mean? Like, it really... It really puts a perspective on... On things. Yeah. It's a good look. Yeah, wow, I didn't ever realize how short the muffler was. Yeah, yeah it's so fun. Yeah. There was like one short muffler somewhere. I was like, I don't know. Oh, I was gonna cut the short muffler off your Apple 5 exhaust. The stock one oh, that comes with like, a little. It's like two inches long. Yeah. And then just put a long ass tip on it. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't wanna touch it. Some gloves. some gloves. No, it's fine. Oh, it's already got fingerprints on it. Oh, it's inspection. Fine. Well, it's fine. We did the 30 40 trick. Yeah. Fixes are right up. You got fingerprints on either exhaust, even if it's already been burnt in. Rub that shit down with WD-40 real good. You get a good polish on there. Leave it nice and wet. Then you turn it on with the heat. F***ing beautiful. Once oh, again. Car's not gonna catch on fire. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ew. That's nice. So Jap <laughs> that's a Japanese man's yeah. hands have been all over there. <laughs> We're back at the shop now. GR is still getting worked on. Doing the alignment and then we have to do some vinyl stuff for it later because we have the grand unveiling tomorrow. But right now we're gonna work on the FL5 just cause I just had my tires mounted for my MF10s and we're gonna put them on and see how they look. We got uh, 18 by nine and a half plus 45 Mugen MF10s, brand new. Uh, 265, what size tire? 265, 35? 65, 18. 265, 35, 18 Advan AO52, thanks to the guys from Yokohama Tire for that assist. And we're gonna get these wheels on and see how they fit. I actually put three mil spacers on there too, just cause I know there's like with a plus 45 offset, there's usually a little bit of space still. Cause a lot of guys are running plus 38, nine and a half, like TEs and stuff. So we're gonna try the three mil spacer on there and see how it looks. Hopefully it works out and the tire's not too chunky and fills up that wheel gap. So, cause the car is just on RSR springs cause there's no coilovers yet. So we'll see how it looks and hopefully it works out. We actually had two sets of tires. We had a set of AO52s and a set of Niova 8009s. But the Niovas went on the GR86 just because the Niovas stretch better than the AO52s do. It's odd because both cars use the same size tire and the GR is a wide body car. Hopefully the AO52s look good in here because low key I was kind of excited to have the AO52s on this car instead of on the GR just because we knew that we'd have to stretch tire on that car, but on this one, it should be fine. 
Thanks to Dwayne for the assist over here. Strong ass hands. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> yep. Okay. Huh? Yeah, so easy. Yeah, it's a freakishly strong hands. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm going with blue caps on one side and red caps on the other side, just to give the car a different look. And it's kind of like an no homage to. Oh, uh, it's supposed to come with black ones. Oh, black ones. But Kevin lost them, so <laughs> he was. I was like, just give them to me later, and then now I don't even want them. So. The black cap is so basic too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying I get. You'd be cool if you could get silver MF10s on your car. Yeah. I think I like the no cap look. You like the no cap look? Yeah. Normally I do, but not for MF10s. Yeah. Damn, everything is going on right now. Got the red caps on this side. Damn, look at that. Yeah, that looks clean. Damn, that's good. Matches for the most part. Yeah, the matches. Um, close. Close. Well, it, it needs to be darker. We're not having a. We're not having a sample. I'm gonna lower it. Real quick. Lower it on my hand. <laughs> Why am I put my hand under? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You probably like it more because it has the bottom piece on it. Wood? Yeah, that looks good. Damn. So should we use the carbon one for the show? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the double carbon way more. I like the white. Because <laughs> like, I thought white is more street. Because I was like completing the bottom edge of the bumper. Yeah, Cause especially because of the shape. It looks like the shape of white and white go down here, so it looks like a bulldog, and I hate that look. Yeah. Better, but the double you want to grab the other hard. carbon piece and put it under it? Uh, I'll have to take it off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Which one do you want? I don't yeah, know. Up to you, Yasu. Uh, oh, special. Special, uh, special, special spacers. Yeah. No, in Japan, we, they used uh, jacks, scissor jacks. <laughs> yeah, this does look good though. But man, does the white look good oh. too? With the bottom attached to it? Maybe that was good. Yeah. Comment on YouTube and tell us which one you like better, even though this video is going to be posted much later and I'll have a lip on there already. <laughs> okay. Mm. This looks more aggressive, but... Oh, that yeah. looks good. Good. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that looks clean. Better than the white? No, I like the white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't decide. I don't know why I can't I like this. Side smart? Most people like yeah, this. Man. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, they look good, dude. <laughs> Damn, this car transformed in a matter of five minutes. I don't know, man. Carbon fiber looks good, but I also haven't seen the white with the bottom on it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Might be the look. All the bolts are off. Yeah. You're just gonna do it right now, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll, I guess I won't drive the car for the rest of the week. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so here it is with the white lip with the carbon bottom piece. Yeah, that looks pretty good too. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I got it. Cut it in half. Yeah. And then oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm. Uh, yeah. You just the top part, then maybe use the carbon fiber. No bottom part. Oh, without the bottom? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because a lot of people already commented that they like just the top piece too, because a lot of like uh, FL5 people don't like to be low. So they're like, oh yeah, we'll just run the top part. <laughs> yeah, dude. You gotta remember that a lot of FL5 owners are like first time Honda guys. So they haven't really messed with these cars before. So that's why another important thing why we made it a two piece so that people don't have to run the bottom yeah, if they don't yeah, want to. Buy option but they have to buy both pieces. You have to buy, oh, you have to buy it yeah, together? Yeah, I don't want to be stuck with a bunch of bottoms, bro. <laughs> what about the power bottom? <laughs> you have to buy it, but you don't have to... You know, yeah, you don't have to run it, run it, but you have to buy it. Yeah, Because this, I think, looks really good alone. Just like, yeah. without the bottom piece, it would look pretty good. Mm.
take. Man, seeing seeing this thing outside for the first time is gonna be really cool. Yeah, it would. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get that special feeling in your stomach. Yeah, it's all dark now. <laughs> yeah, I mean not right now. But yeah. The barbecue grill's in the way. This is like the most calm and relaxed we've ever been for any type of car thing that we put together. I know. <laughs> we can we can stop and eat. Nobody's stressed out. The cars over there are all done already. We're growing up, people. The maturity. We know how to schedule things now. Even though I was jet lagged and woke up at 2 p.m. today, but car is all done. Things are looking good. That was it. Amazing. The interview with the just top of your heads. Yeah, I just floating heads. <laughs> floating heads Yeah, you can't even drive it like that, right? <laughs> we still don't see the floor. Yep. Good luck, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, today is the big day. We got to go over to Evasive pretty soon. To drop off the car and set up everything for the grand unveiling tonight at our little private industry shindig. And uh, it's like exciting times over here, but still lots of work to do. So let's go see the car. scary part getting this new wide body thing From the stickers? Yeah, dude, just leaning over that back window for that long. My legs are like, feel like jello. It's more of a workout than climbing. Yeah, it is. Just because of the mental stress, too. It's stretched out like the back of my knees. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right That's now. the most stressful part of the build. Yeah, now we gotta put down flooring, too. Oh. Mm hmm. This is okay. I, I told Ryan Yamamoto to come so he can lay one tile down and then say he's too tired. <laughs> The nap comes tomorrow. <laughs> this is the platform that I designed for this event and for the Weekfest event. This is our first time kind of laying it down and testing it out. So this gives us an opportunity to make the setup at Weekfest a lot easier just because we'll be able to figure out today. But I don't know, never done anything like this before. So presentation hopefully will be good and a little different than most, I guess, car unveils you see. But hopefully my measurements are correct because the first time I did it, uh, it was a little too small. So I hope this is accurate and we're gonna find out soon. So you guys can get a better look at how the platform looks so. You don't think their car is going to be too wide for the platform, right? <laughs> I mean, if this works, it looks pretty sick, dude. Just start, start the corner. 
if you start the if you start the corner, it'll give you the the recipe for it. So lay that on on Yasu's corner, and then you can go down. Like the measurement should be exact. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. female and male. Yeah. Well, here it is, the finished product. Platform is done, car is loaded on. We didn't anticipate the car uh, shooting all the floor tiles backwards because of the grip on the tires. So we ended up having to push the car onto the platform and then relining everything up. The vinyl layout is perfect, spot on. That's yeah, all our supporters on here. Everybody that contributed to the build. Yeah. Okay. Clean the bird poop off. You're doing the white already? You're doing the white film already? Can everybody hear me? Okay, we're gonna do this Okay, so for those of you guys that don't know who Battlecraft is, it's a, it's a part of uh, uh, it's a labor of love between me and Christian, mostly Christian. He's the one that actually does all the work. I just do some of the facilitating and kind of like uh, help make things happen here and there. But it's a it's a very boutique company. We're on the guys at heart. So when we first got a GR86, I think a lot of people were surprised that we bought a GR86 because it's not something that anybody expected. But me and him, we just, we're car guys. You know, even though people just think we love Honda, but we just love cars. And when we saw a GR86 come out, we were like, if there's an opportunity for us to find a white one, and it was a certain price point, then we'll we'll figure out a way to buy it, even though none of us have any money. <laughs> so we we somehow in January managed to get a car two three years ago, yeah. and then we've been slowly working on it. And then an opportunity came up thanks to Mike and Tony from Invasive, where they were like, "Hey, we have the first Voltex GR86 ver Street Version 2 kit," and we. Still don't have any money to this day, but we scrambled all our pennies together and, and got the kit. The kit sat in my shop for a year. We didn't touch it because we're so busy. And then sometime during the summer, we're like, hey, we need to get this going because this car is just sitting here and the kit's taking up too much space. And then Tony was, oh, Mike hit me up and he was like, hey, are you guys ever going to put the kit on? Because it's just sitting in a box. And then, so I was like, Christian, we need to get this done. But I'm not going to be here most of the time because I'm traveling. And then we have our very good friend Jay, who was here with Christian every single night side by side, helping him put this car together. And I wasn't here for it, but a couple weeks ago there was a crazy heat wave apparently and everybody was dying. So these guys continue to work through it and they put this car together. And I literally got back two days ago. And when I saw the car, I was pretty surprised. <laughs> I thought that it was going to be like a super last minute thing where we're going to have to hammer. Like I brought Yasu with me from Japan because he's really a hard worker. And then said, we're going to do this. You know, and then we have the first ever pair of Battlecraft Brit seats. So the Brit data classics. I think we're the first ones to use these seats. And we literally, me and Yasu brought them back on the plane along with a bunch of front lips and everything, and then the airfoil in the back for the Voltex wing is also off of his car, and it originally came from Nakajima from Voltex. So this car is a huge labor of love. We invited you guys here because you guys have always supported us. You're our friends and family. And as much of an industry thing as it is, as connected as we are, we're just car guys. And we want you to enjoy this car as much as we enjoy putting it together. And I want to Thank you to you and all your hard work, and for Jay, wherever he is, who works tirelessly to continue to wipe down this, this white panel floor that I did. And uh, thank you so much for coming. And this is our Voltex GR86 Street Version 2. It's gonna get stuck. On. It's gonna get stuck. It's gonna get stuck on the oh. 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 Don't break it. Oh. Woo! Oh, also, we're a 
Honda, we really are Honda guys because we repainted the car S2000 Grand Prix white. <laughs> just because we didn't want to try to match the original Pearl and it just looks cooler the same. So thank you guys. <laughs> The dark. The dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Christmas. You guys Well, that's it for this one. What are you guys doing? It's a video. <laughs> Nothing. Well, that's it for this one. Time to load up and get this thing back to the shop. Didn't even get to eat the free tacos or anything. After the big event, everyone just kind of chilling out now, bullshitting. Successful debut. Thanks to Dwayne for the assist over here. I don't like to get dirty. I don't change my own tires. I don't wash my own car anymore. It's not a rich thing. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. I don't want to be sore. I don't want to be dirty. So. <laughs>